In today's video, I'll be making my nose look somewhat like a strawberry, sticking my tongue in an eyelash curler, using a cheese grater-like device to remove the skin from my feet, and then find out how much skin we got. Then applying Elmer's glue to my face and peeling it off after it's dried to find out if it works as a blackhead remover. Plus more things you guys dared me to do in the comment section. In the last video, I asked you guys, what would you do with a million dollars? And you guys all said that you would all give your money to charity. No, I'm just kidding. You guys almost unanimously said you would all spend your money on Fortnite V-Bucks. Thousands of comments, each with a lifelong pledge to spend every penny you ever make on Fortnite. And it made me realize that I should probably try to buy stock in that video game company. But since you guys came up with so many comments, I thought I'd ask another question. What is something you need? It could be anything from needing the next season of Game of Thrones to start already, to needing just a little bit more space from people who sit too close to you on the bus. Be creative with your answers and put whatever you can come up with in the comment section, I'll be picking 10 of my favorite to be featured in the next video. Now, let's get this thing going. For the next part in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is trying out some beauty hacks. Because for one, I need it. And for two, they're really popular. That being said, I have an eyelash curler. This is typically used to curl an eyelash. I don't know if it worked or not, but that felt weird. But that's not what we're here for today. What I'm gonna be doing with this is playing Dr. Popper on my nose. So according to the internet, they say if you stick your nose in one of these things, you can actually squeeze it and get a whole bunch of weird gooey stuff to come out. That doesn't sound fun to me. It actually sounds really gross, but what's even grosser is the fact that all that's in there in the first place. And knowing that does make me wanna do something about it. I just don't know if this is the right thing to do. But we are gonna give it a shot. All right, let's give this a go. Unfortunately for me, I've got a really fat nose and I can't, I can't really get my nose in there. But that does look pretty weird. <laughs> okay, I actually want to do this. Uh, that's as, that might be as much nose as I can get through there. Ow! That hurt, but it did almost nothing. Ow, 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 ow. ow. Ow, ow, my nose looks like a strawberry. Ow, ow. Oh my God. That didn't feel pleasant. I think I actually did squeeze some stuff out there. I don't know if it's snot or what, but uh, yeah, I think, I think something, something happened there. Yeah, I don't know what, but uh, something definitely happened there. All right, I took off a little rubber protector so I can stick more of my nose through this. Oh yeah, we got a lot of nose coming through now. Ow! Ah! Oh, is it working? Ow! Is my nose still attached? Ah! Ah! Ah, come on! Ah! Ah! Ow! Oh, my poor nose. That did not work well. It actually didn't work at all. That was terrible. The next thing I'm gonna be doing is trying to use this as a tongue scraper. Ah. <laughs> ah. Okay, I don't know, you guys tell me. Was that a success? Did I get my tongue scraped? I'm really not sure. I felt weird. I felt weird doing it. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to look at one of these things the same way ever again. I actually still think what it did best was curling my eyelashes. I guess that is what it was meant for. And that being said, we'll be on to the next thing. The next beauty hack that we're gonna be testing out is actually something that has to do with my feet. And there's not a whole lot of beauty there. I got some ugly honkers and I'm not just bragging, they really are. But this device right here that looks like a cheese grater and pretty much is, is going to be grinding down my feet to whatever's underneath the first few layers. I've never used a device like this, but apparently it works just like a cheese grater. You just sort of rub it on the skin, and then the skin comes off. That's kind of worrisome. As you can see, there's just tiny little slits in this thin piece of metal. And as I slide that over my foot, just gotta hope it doesn't take too much foot with it. But what's gonna make this really interesting is there's actually a trap door on the back of this cheese grater. This is gonna let us know exactly how much foot I've removed from myself. It's kind of terrifying to think about, but I'm actually curious to see how well this thing works. That being said, let's get this thing going. I've never had my feet grinded on before, so this will be a new experience for me. Also, my feet are kind of dirty, so hopefully this thing can grind that off too. Uh, it doesn't hurt or anything. It doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel painful at all. And do I really have to saw away at it? I don't know how much, I'm not really sure how much pressure to put on it. 
That sawing noise is really alarming, actually. Ugh. I mean, you guys can see I'm really sawing away at this thing. I'm thinking after just a few more minutes, I'll probably only have a stump left. It definitely appears to be grinded down and it feels a lot smoother. But to be honest, I already have pampered feet. I've never done this to it, but I've also never had to walk on gravel on a regular basis or anything like that. So I might not have any calluses to peel off. Now, like I said, I'm not really expecting there to be too much shredded cheese in this thing, but I do want to open it up just to make sure. So now is when we find out exactly how much foot I have stored in this tiny little container here. So let's check it out. Oh, okay. There is definitely, oh, some of it was already falling off. Oh, all right. Well, that's not a whole lot, but that's, that's more than I want. Yeah, there's not that much of it, but it's enough to gross me out. That being said, it was kind of a pleasurable experience. I didn't actually mind it that much. Got a little bit of the crap off my feet, but luckily not so much came off that I needed to go and get a foot replacement. And that being said, we'll be on to the next one. The next thing we're gonna be doing in today's video is putting Elmer's glue on my face and peeling it off, which is weird, but I've actually done that before. Oh, wow. <laughs> my face is peeling. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> ah, help me. But the reason we're gonna be doing it this time is to find out if I can actually pull out some of the blackheads and whatever other kind of stuff that's inside of my face that needs to come off. Before I was just doing it to, well, just to be weird. Not that this isn't weird, it's a little bit weird. I mean, I'm pulling stuff out of my face. That's not normal at least, but that is only if it's successful. And we're doing this because there's a really popular life hack going around the internet saying that if you put Elmer's glue on your face and peel it off, that it will work just like any other face mask that you buy from the store that's actually meant to pull the stuff out of your face. Seeing as how the eyelash curler did not work to remove the things from my face that I'm sure are in there, this may be our only hope. And that being said, let's get this thing going. Now, all I'm going to be doing is putting a little bit of Elmer's glue on the tip of my finger and then rubbing that across my nose. I'm just trying to put the glue exactly where one of those strips would go that you buy from the store. Try to smooth it out nice and even, so hopefully when I go to peel it off, it actually peels off. If something goes wrong, well, that's to be expected. And it should take only a few minutes for all this to dry. So it looks like everything's dried up now because it's invisible, pretty much. Whoa, that's kind of weird. Wow. <laughs> okay. It's usually not so wrinkly up here on the bridge of my nose. Oh, but it did help to loosen the glue up a little bit. Oh, wow. So if I just kind of like pull my face, the glue starts to come up. <laughs> okay. Wow. I'm not even really having to like try. I just kind of wiggle my nose a little bit. My nose looks like it's about to fly away. All right. Uh, uh, ah. I got it all off on one piece, that's crazy. Let's put this under the light and then we'll be able to tell if we actually got anything out of my nose or not. But I'll tell you one thing, it definitely feels a lot smoother. That was, uh, that was a weird sensation. <laughs> I gotta say though, I don't mind it. That was, that, was, that was pretty interesting. All right, let's look at this. Okay, so that's what we're left with. And I'm not sure exactly how much of this is gonna be able to show up on video, but if you look at it, basically under a microscope, as close as you possibly can, you can actually see that there are small, tiny little white dots all over it. Now, I'm not saying that the Elmer's glue face mask didn't do a good job, I, I think it did. I just think that there's probably a whole lot of other stuff in my nose that did not come out with any of the methods that we tried here today. That being said, I'm not terribly surprised. However, unlike usual, I'm also not terribly disappointed with this either. My nose feels a lot smoother now from all the things that I've done with it. But either way, I'm satisfied. And that being said, we'll be on to the next thing. And also, just in case anybody was wondering, I did manage to finally get my ceiling fan put up. If you've watched my last few recent videos, I fell through my ceiling trying to repair a ceiling fan and I got my arm very badly hurt. But after fixing the poorly installed electrical box that the ceiling fan was installed to, 
it was actually pretty easy. So now that my arm is healed and my fan is fixed, the best advice I can take away from this incident is to never go in my attic ever again. So if you found this video helpful or if you just enjoyed watching it, make sure to click the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and bell me for notifications if you'd actually like to see the videos. And of course, I'll be seeing you guys in just a few days with a new video. All right, thanks guys, bye.